everyone, welcome back to Desi Maple Life, your place for Canada tips and certifications. Today we are diving into the art of crafting a winning resume for project management jobs. Now this video that I'm making is for absolute beginners. So if you have never written your resume by yourself or you are completely new, don't worry, I got you covered. To make it more practical, we will use a fictional job posting and to add even more value to it, I'll be sharing some often overlooked tips throughout the process. So grab a pen and let's get started. So let's first see the example job posting that we have today. So the job is for the senior project manager at Tech Innovations. They have written, we are seeking an experienced senior project manager to oversee the successful planning, execution and completion of complex technology projects. The ideal candidate should have a proven track record of leading cross-functional teams, excellent communication skills, and expertise in Agile. They have the requirements as uh, they need minimum four years of project management experience, proficiency in Agile or Scrum, strong leadership and team management skills, PMP or CAPM is a plus, uh, demonstrated success in delivering projects on time and within budget, excellent problem-solving abilities. So we are going to write our resume as per this job requirement. So let's get started. So I have divided the whole resume writing process in five parts. I'm going to tell you a total six parts, but the part one is actually all about how you can modify your resume as per the job that you are applying. So let's get started with the part one of our resume writing. So first things first, let's talk about the basics. Your resume is like your professional snapshot. It should give a quick and clear picture of who you are and what you bring to the table. So make sure your contact information is up to date. Include your full name, phone number, email and LinkedIn profile if you have one. If not, just pause the video and create your LinkedIn profile right away. You can connect with me on LinkedIn too. So as you can see it on the screen, I have added my name, then my phone number. Always make sure that uh, your phone number that you have entered is correct, like just cross check it. And then add your email ID. Usually we have more than one email ID, so just make sure that the email ID that you are giving, you are checking it on a daily basis because sometimes recruiters try to reach you out through the uh, Gmail first and then they call you. So after that, add your LinkedIn profile. Obviously, LinkedIn profile is a must now. So this is all about the section one, like you have to add your uh, basic details in any resume. Now the part two or section two is how you can craft a strong objective or summary. Now let's move on to the objective or summary section. This is like the elevator pitch for your resume. Keep it short and sweet. Highlight your career goals and what you can offer to the employer. If you're applying for a project management role, mention your passion for leading teams and delivering successful projects. Now in this section, for the objective or summary, try to align it with the job posting that you have. So let's see the objective that I have written according to the job posting that we had seen in the starting of the video. So I have written, um, a result driven project manager with over four years of experience specializing in leading cross-functional teams and implementing agile in the successful delivery of technology projects now if you will see the job posting simultaneously here i have tried to include the keywords like cross-functional teams then i have also highlighted because they wanted the four years of project management experience and i had that so i have written it like uh, with over four years of experience in my objective. Then I have also include this agile method there because they have uh, written agile like two times, once here and then once here. So you can take out the keywords like this from the job that uh, you are applying for and try to include that in your objective or you can uh, say it as a professional summary. It's up to you what you want. So but just make sure that uh, you are picking up some keywords so that your resume will be picked up if it's going to check by a automated system. Uh, this is just for example, as we all know that there is no uh, such thing of a perfect resume, but yeah, this is from my understanding. Now let's move to the section three. 
Now section 3 is all about showcasing your skills. Let's talk about skills. For project management roles, you want to emphasize both hard and soft skills. Hard skills could include things like proficiency in project management tools, like you know, a uh, scrum or any specific certifications that you hold, such as CAPM or PMP. On the softer side, showcase your leadership, communication and problem solving skills. In this section of showcasing your skills, make sure to address the job requirements. Example, like you can see the skills that I have added, advanced proficiency in agile or scrum, proven leadership abilities, CAPM certification, proficient in Microsoft project, effective communication. If you will see, I have tried to align this objective as per the job requirements that they have posted. Like they have asked for excellent communication skills. They have also asked for the agile and scrum. You can see they, ha they are focusing it on many times. So uh, you might know at this point that this skill is very important for the particular job that you are applying. Then they have also added that PMP or CAPM certification is a, is a plus or is an asset. So again, I have that certification. So I have highlighted that in my skills. Then I have also added a uh, strong teamwork and proficient in Microsoft project. So like Microsoft project is a tool that everyone is using nowadays. So it's something that if you know that skill, you have to add it regardless of if they're asking that in the job requirements or not. But yeah, just make sure that job requirements on your skills are somewhat kind of similar. Now here many people add the soft skills and tech skills in different columns. So it's totally up to you how you want to do it. For now, I have kept the skills as one section only. Before moving to the section four, I just wanted to give you a, a key tip, which is highlight soft skills. Don't forget soft skills because project managers are not just about the technical skills. Highlight your soft skills like communication, teamwork, and adaptability. It adds a human touch to your resume. Now, the section four is highlighting your experience. It's time to get into the meat of the resume. The experience section. For each position you have held, use bullet points to highlight your key achievements and responsibilities. Now, this is the time for our key tip. While you are writing your achievements, try to quantify your achievements. So instead of just saying like improve project proficiency, say something like implemented agile methodologies, reducing project timeline by 15%. It adds punch to your accomplishments. So whatever you can quantify, try to quantify that. Now here the uh, second key tip is to use the action verbs. So instead of saying responsible for, use powerful action verbs like led or implemented or ensured. So this will add the dynamism to your resume. So let's move to the section five, which is tailoring for the job. It's not a different section. It's just that how you can tailor your resume for each job application is crucial to know. Look closely at the job description and try to customize your resume to match the specific requirements, like use similar language and keywords to make your resume stand out to automated systems and human recruiters alike. For example, if you will see here, adding a line like uh, ensure on time completion and adherence to budgets. If you will compare this line to your job requirement, uh, let me see. Yeah, see the requirement number five demonstrated success in delivering projects on time within budget. So even in this experience section, I'm trying to uh, align my resume with the job that I'm applying for. So try to take the keywords out and write it there. This is how you are going, uh, your resume is going to be picked. Otherwise, I don't know, in the starting, I have like applied for more than 100 jobs and it was getting rejected every single time. Now let's move to the last section of our resume, which is section six. Last section is all about your education and certification. So don't forget to include your education and certification section. Highlight your relevant degrees and of course, showcase your CAPM, Scrum or any other project management certifications that you have earned. 
this will going to add credibility to your application so i have uh, added my masters in computer application you can write the name of the university um your percentage doesn't matter much at this point and yeah the certifications that you have i could also add my scrum master <laughs> so yeah this is all about the last section so before ending this video i have the final tip and it is to customize your linkedin url it looks more professional that way so if you are just leaving your uh, linkedin url like with that uh, special characters that they have by default uh, just don't do it because uh, it's going to be difficult to remember uh, some random string of characters right so just try to write your name or something try to customize it so it will be easier to uh, read and will be very clean for uh, someone who is going to read your resume yeah i don't know if it matters much but uh, i i like to do it then now look at your resume next to the pretend job does it match cool right these tips make your resume strong if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips i think tanuj is also going to make one uh, video because to be honest he is the one who always makes my resume even now so uh, he has something more to share uh, share i believe so we'll soon come up with that video as well and yeah best of luck with your job and i'll see you guys in my next video till then bye and take care